everyone. It's time to eat, drink, and be merry with your hosts, Lisa and Nancy. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Big Blend Radio's Eat, Drink, Be Merry show. Today, we're excited to have Ruth Milstein back on, and she's going to share how to make her lasagna-style meat pie. It's perfect for the winter or fall and for families. Uh, Ruth is the author of the Gourmand award-winning recipe book, Cooking with Love, Ventures into the New Israeli Cuisine. And of course, you hear her on Big Blend Radio all the time. And also you can see her recipes on Blend Radio and TV.com, as well as Big Blend Radio and TV magazine, which of course this recipe is featured in. But I encourage you to go to her website, ruthmilstein.com, and also get her cookbook up on uh, amazon.com. It's now in the second edition with a beautiful brand new hardcover. It's a beautiful book, especially for families and especially getting healthy recipes. So welcome back, Ruth. How are you doing? Very good. How are you? We're doing good, doing good. So, you know, when you think about lasagna and a meat pie, like when you think about pie, it's like, oh, yeah, we want, you know, when it's winter going into spring, depending on where you live, or even fall, you want something that just that comfort food. And, and this looks like that's that kind of dish. Everything is hot is comfort. And uh, mm. another thing, we have to make it easier for us. Mm. Especially they, for moms and families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For parents. And for mm. uh, also, if you want to be a host, mm. you don't mm. want to stay in the kitchen for a long time, you can make it ahead, cook it, warm it up. Mm-hmm. And you can make it double. Oh, that's good. Double it or make it on big a uh, big tray. And just cook it for more a longer time. And most of the ingredients are already cooked. Oh, so you look to the most of the yes, it, it's already cooked. So the lasagna already boiled, and the meat already cooked. The onion already sauté. So mm-hmm. what left? So yeah, you keep left? it easy. You've got tomato sauce yes, in this. Easier. Um, yeah. So the meat is with the tomato, and then you make the sauce for the topping. But the lasagna yes. basically acts as though like it's the pastry of the pie, right? Yes. So it's at the bottom. But and don't cook the lasagna all over. Uh, leave it a little bit uh, on the... Don't al cook dente. it all the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, otherwise, yeah, al dente. Mm-hmm. Al dente. When this recipe, you say you use a pound of red meat. So for one that makes eight servings, you're using a typical box of lasagna, whatever, you know, manufacturer yeah. you want. Mm-hmm. Um, and you, so you also say that you're using a pound of red meat. Could you do this with turkey, or is it definitely need to be? Yeah, I did. I did. I did one with turkey. It's delicious. Mm. Just you have to spice it a little bit more. Okay. Spice and then, if someone's vegan, they could do this too because they have those like sure. meat, the, like the meat crumbles, huh? They yes. Uh huh. Could make it with cheese also. Oh, cheese! That's what. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. You, like you, uh, tell me which cheese you use, and I will do it also. Okay, it's so nice. cheese. Yeah. Also. Yeah, and you because cheese goes with onion. Salad. Cheese with onion going great. Mm. And don't forget the tortilla because it gives it gives some crunch. Yes, so your crunch. So let's put it this way: so you have your lasagna at the bottom of the dish. Which you've got olive oil, then the pasta the, the pasta is cooked, right? And then you've got your sautéed onions and meat, and then you put that on top of, and then you do layers. But you said you crunch up tortillas, so that gives you this little crunch, and so Crunchy, you put that yes. as a top. Yes, between. Okay. Yes. The, yeah. Oh, so that's between like the two layers of meat is the yeah. tortillas. Yes. Mm. Oh, now, I, you know, when you do the tortillas, now I'm thinking there should be some peppers in here. Can we add pepper? There is a pepper. There oh, is there pepper. Is. There's salt and pepper, yes. Oh, there you go. There you go. Salt and pepper, salt onion. And pepper. Very easy kind of dish to make. You yes, could even teach, to make teach kids to do this, you know. You know, when you're young and you're learning how to cook, this looks like a good recipe to learn. Yes, and kids, a kid loves lasagna. Mm, yeah. Everything with pie, kids love it. Yes, pie is always good. And then I know Howard, you know, the, the, wine, the wine man, he paired some wine for this, and you say Chardonnay or a red, red burgundy. Yes, mm. uh, yes, because it's lasagna, because it's red meat, it's, uh, red wine is good. Red wine. And the burgundy going great with that. Oh, red burgundy, and then you got also or P- Pinot Noir. You can Pinot do Noir that. is very good with that. 
and then uh, or... if it's if you eat it middle of the day you can go for a beer oh yeah you said sapporo or sing thai yeah. so that's kind yeah. of got that little ting to it yes the, the yeah the sapporo the... is very good ah you like sapporo that very good. Yes. oh and it's uh, available all over so yeah you, and so if you eat this for lunch you could have a nice salad on the side yes mm -hmm. to me, mm -hmm. maybe something light with it so yeah and so, there is vegetable the onions is there mm -hmm. and there is the not a lot of pepper and not a lot of vegetable there but it's, it's still good you could always Once serve it with a side of vegetable yeah. you could mm -hmm. but this is yeah. one of those recipes you can adapt and change up as yeah. you want right you can mm -hmm. try this try that it's the it's about you know learning the foundation first and then changing it up to what you want yes and you can make double of it and uh, you can bake it mm -hmm. if you you can freeze it but if you freeze it if you make double of it two tray mm -hmm. but you can freeze it but freeze it unbaked unbaked okay unbaked yes okay and would you do the pasta even you'd actually just make the whole dishes because you're saying all you're the dishes unbaked yes and take it uh, overnight put it in the fridge night before mm -hmm. and after take it from the fridge to a little bit warm up and after to the oven ah and this is easy 375 yeah. degrees yeah um and it's yeah for 35 minutes in a preheat preheated oven it's simple yeah because all the ingredients is already cooked mm -hmm. right so you're just putting it all together and making it yeah. nice and tight yeah. this is good ruth and then the tomato sauce together. yeah so the sauce you're using that is that going the layers when you're using the tomato sauce uh when you pour it on the top it's pulled down it's all oh nice. they're meeting each other Mm. This looks beautiful too. I like the photo. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, okay, I like this. And you know what I like is because this is something you can heat up, you know, if you have leftovers, you know, something quick to make. I think for moms. There's no leftover. No, there's no one because no everyone's going to eat it. <laughs> no leftover. No leftovers. Everyone eat it. No, think, leave, it, leave it on the table. Believe me. Back and forth, back and forth. It's gone. Oh, it's, it's gone. gone. It's gone nice and yeah. hearty yeah i think you know yeah. you also you know when you're doing like you know um guests coming over for dinner or uh, maybe you're volunteering and you take you know when you go to potlucks this looks like it could be a good potluck dish yeah if you just keep it hot you know keep it on a warmer uh for people so nice and easy you know and i think if you if you have you know if you have meat or you know you know lasagna noodles in the back of your cupboard or well not the meat the meat you have to have refrigerated right but you know when you yeah. have the drop-in people that suddenly someone's coming over this is something quick mm -hmm. to make mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. when they mm -hmm. do that i like this i like this but i think it's it's good it's interesting that howard put a chardonnay too i think even if you do turkey that would go well too yes it's not mm -hmm. always red with red right you can still have yeah. white wine with. Turkey, you can uh, you turkey, you can uh, drink the red. Yeah, like a Pinot Noir, with that. Yeah, mm. the chicken usually more to white wine, but turkey you can eat eh? because mm -hmm. turkey is more mm -hmm. uh, so um, more solid meat yeah. than uh, yeah. chicken. Is it fatter? Do you think more fatty? Fatty? Mm -hmm. No, so, it's not. Okay. No, no. It's no. good for you. It's good for no. you. Well, really, we ate a lot. We we had the guests to eat it. No, nobody complained. Mm. No, they just ask for more. That's good. I like this. Yeah. I like the tortillas because it's nice to have a crunch. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you've been the recipe, it's not like long recipe and complicated. No, mm -mm. not much to it no. at all. It looks you're good and yummy, and it looks pretty too. And that's the other thing; it's got to look good on the plate. Yeah. Mm. So and it does. It looks very nice. So. Everyone, again, the recipe is up on blendradioandtv.com. You'll see Ruth on our expert department, and she's got a lot of good recipes on there. Uh, also, you can get it in her cookbook, which is Cooking with Love Ventures into the New Israeli Cuisine. We're waiting for book number two. You know, it's, it's all about that publisher time. So I know they're going to say, go, go, get it out now. We're, we're waiting, Ruth. <laughs> for book it's a good one. Two. Believe me, it's a good one. I don't know why he's still holding that. He has a reason. Mm. but it's a good one it's okay good one. well we're, we're all he's waiting for it he, he knows he's making us all sit here and go 
And, you know, yeah. we're waiting now. Maybe when I move to New York, everything's going to be much uh, quicker. quicker. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, New York is a quick city. and uh, I know. So, everything fast, 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 fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, sleeping, 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 sleeping. Yeah, every, well, everyone's relaxed in, in you know, Relaxing here, yeah, it's a relaxing area. It's a relaxing place. It's yeah. a lot of wine. you got a lot of wine. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of wine to relax, too. Uh, but, you know, we love to play you music, Ruth. Today's song yes. is from yes. the Bay Area because it's just down the road from you. It's jazz. I know you like jazz. And uh, this is from the new album by James Byfield. It's called, the album is After Hours. And uh, this is the song. It's called Lights Out. And you can go to blindlemon-pledge.com for more or hear his interview up on blendradioandtv.com. But we want to thank Ruth and thank you all for joining us uh, for our little. Thank you our, for having me quick cooking lesson huh so everyone uh, you can go to bigblendradio.com uh, to keep up with our shows and we look forward to next time ruth and happy new year and happy and healthy to you and to miss nancy yes miss nancy's in and the talk game. soon yeah, all right we'll talk soon talk soon bye-bye bye-bye Lights out over the bay Daydreamers call it a day And every lover wants to love the blues away So turn down the lights And love me tonight When it's lights out It's time for love Lights out, curtains are drawn Day worries soon to be gone You're my lover, you're the one I'm counting on So turn down the lights and love me tonight When it's lights out, it's time for love When the midnight moon's aglow That's the time that lovers know They turn down the lights When it's time for It's lights out It's time for love